The Clutha helicopter crash was caused by the pilot's failure to ensure at least one of the fuel transfer pump switches was activated, a fatal accident inquiry has found. Sheriff Principal Craig Turnbull released his findings from the probe into the disaster which claimed the lives of 10 people in November 2013. The fatal accident inquiry, FAI, found that the crash happened after the helicopter's engines flamed out sequentially while the helicopter was airborne, as a result of fuel starvation, due to depletion of the contents of the supply tank. He also said David Trail did not follow the correct procedures in dealing with the low fuel warnings in a report published on Wednesday. But what questions did the fire leave unanswered? Why, despite being an experienced pilot, did Captain David Trail ignore low fuel warnings? Police Scotland helicopter G Spau, as was standard, had no black box recorder and so the motivation for Captain Trail's actions during the final flight will always remain somewhat of a mystery. Recordings from the CAD, the caution advisory display, show that five low fuel warnings sounded towards the final minutes of the flight. It is standard for a pilot to land within 10 minutes of receiving a low fuel warning but Captain Trail flew on. The inquiry heard from multiple sources that the fuel levels displayed on the helicopter's fuel gauge could differ from what was actually in the tank. One theory, put forward by fellow pilot Andrew Rooney, was that Captain Trail would have thought the low fuel warning due to a spurious reading. He said, it's a possibility, a pilot would keep flying simply because the checks that are required for the low fuel warning presume other issues and if none of those issues are in place, it's possible he would think it was a spurious reading. What were the technical issues raised with the helicopter Type PC-135? In his determination, Sheriff Turnbull said, until the accident, the EC-135 had accumulated more than 3 million flying hours, over a period of 20 years, without there previously being a reported instance of fuel starvation. The court did hear, however, of concerns raised about inconsistent fuel readings from the EC-135. Stephen Kitchen, a former Royal Navy pilot who now flies for Police Scotland and the Air Ambulance, gave evidence relating to his flight in G's bow on the day of the fatal crash. He told the court there was an issue that day in the number one supply tank and the helicopter had to be shut down and restarted. The court was also shown an email dated September 20, 2013, from Captain Craig Trott. It said the helicopter had shown various irregular fuel levels, refueling to 310 kilograms in the main tank then, after two hours, showing 295 kilograms. On takeoff, the main tank increased to 320 kilograms. The inquiry was also told for more on this story, visit the news article link.